far as a guy that I would like for them to target, uh, it kind of gets back into the – and you said realistic, I think, which I tend to struggle with when making <laughs> fake trades. Uh, but <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm still keeping my eye on Zach Levine. I know the Bulls made a lot of moves this offseason, and, you know, they had a really splashy offseason and everything. But I'm interested in seeing just how good that team is. Like, I expect them to make the playoffs, but – I don't know that they'll be in the top half of the, the East. You know, I, I just want to see how good that team is as it's, as uh, they're approaching the trade deadline, because like Jalen Brunson, and obviously it's two completely different level players, but uh, Zach Levine, he's going to be an unrestricted free agent uh, next summer if they don't come to an agreement on an extension. So uh, that, that that's what I would, you know, set my sights for. And as far as under that, I'm really not sure. I don't know. I don't want Ben Simmons. Uh, <laughs> two names for you to consider that are definitely tiers below the names you're thinking because I just don't see how the Mavs have the equity to get those types of guys. Um, this would be the more ambitious one. But if the, if the Spurs eventually lean into their rebuild and they just decide this guy's a little bit too old or the upside isn't there, Derek White, big fan of Derek yeah. White, and you have the contracts to match. So what type of draft equity? Do they like Jalen Brunson, any of the other players on your roster? The other one... I think it's eminently more gettable. And I think Mavs fans who are listening to this podcast are going to absolutely despise it. I would just argue for them to go dig into the data a little bit about what he does. Eric Gordon would be a great fit for this team to me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would be, I would be fine with an Eric Gordon trade. Um, I, I like the type of player he is. I think he fits into what, what this team is trying to do right now. Uh, you know, it, it's funny because it's, it's kind of like that, uh, that James Harden Rockets, esque type of offense that they're going to be doing now uh, where they're just running a lot and shooting a bunch of threes and everything. So, I mean, yeah, I, I'd, I'd be fine with Eric Gordon. I don't know exactly how much he's making. So I'd, ha I'd have to dig into that. It's, like and see. Two, it's his third year of his contract is, it must, is, is basically non-guaranteed. It's so it's like two years and 38 million. Um, the health is the major concern. But when you look at him as just taking ultra deep threes and spacing the defense that way, he was also before he got injured one of the five most efficient finishers on drives last year. So just as now that you're the Mavs, if you were planning on having cap space, I get why you don't want Eric Gordon on your books, but now that cap space is gone and that's over, I would welcome Eric Gordon on my books if I was the Mavs at this point. 